I'm Tangles. This is my garage, and this is my car. Well, uh, it's Friday morning. Um, I made it to Archie last night, uh, about half hour late by the time I got the wheel alignment and got there. Uh, and everything was working really, really well. Uh, the car was driving really well, and holy shit, I was shredding tyres. Um, let's have a look. Oh, there's my stick. These, uh, they were about 75% tread on those when I got there. These were probably 80%. That one's d -land. Uh, and the one underneath it's even worse. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, things were going fine up until I did this. Uh, you probably can't see them, turn the light on. Shut this door. Uh, that's not right. Um, yeah, there's a big pothole on the edge of the circuit, and I was running really well all night. Uh, had plenty of power. Uh, grip was actually actually a little bit low on grip, but I just had to drive a bit steadier. Um, which was fine by me because you know I didn't have to work the car as hard to, to go sideways and stuff but yeah um, I smacked into that pothole pretty hard as you can tell by that wheel uh, the lower control arms bent pretty badly uh, there may be other arms that are broken obviously I got the alignment done yesterday on the way to the circuit after installing those t uh, camber arms so that's less than ideal. Um, and then on, when I got home, obviously via tow truck, he's ripped my front bar off on this side and busted my repair job. So he then argued about it, saying it was existing damage. Uh, I could probably have a go at him about it. I mean, I had a go at him at, at, about lying um, at the time, but uh, whether or not I bothered pursuing him for anything cost or if it wasn't I don't know it's probably not worth it uh, because I did damage this side here uh, all of my own I just at one point I spun and just sat up on a tire when I backed off I just pulled the plug out so uh, I just zip tied it back on while I was there at the circuit so yeah uh, I've got less than two weeks now until the Noosa Hill climb and I've got to fix that. I've also got to enter the event today because entries actually closed yesterday. Uh, but they've agreed to wait for my entry. Um, so I sort of got to the yeah, probably Monday or something because it's got to be by post. <laughs> Excuse me. So I've got the entry forms actually in the car to fill out and post today as well as starting on that. Um, me being an idiot too, this was full, the camera was full, I turned up the circuit so I actually didn't get any footage of me drifting, uh, hopefully a mate, I think he got a little bit of footage from outside of the car early in the day, so, while I was still trying to feel out the grip levels, so earlier was a little bit sketchy, but, um, after I had, uh, yeah, a couple of turns, I got a feel for the grip levels. Yeah, it was all working really, really well. I was, I was killing it. So, uh, unfortunately, you're not going to see that though. All you see is a broken car, which would disagree with my statement of killing it because <laughs> I broke the car. But yeah, just a massive hole. Um, my mate said he hit that hole twice. He's got no damage. Like, he's damaged the rim a little bit, but he doesn't have anything like that to deal with. Um, Anyway, it is what it is. This is motorsports. If you're not willing to break it, you shouldn't be driving it on a racetrack. Uh, not that you want to break it, 
will, you will will yourself to break it but you know if you can't afford to crash it or well, no it's not a case of affording it uh, affording it as in having another car the you, can, you know you can't be doing this in your daily which a lot of people do or have done that's a mistake uh, all right um, yeah, a lot to do, not a lot of time. Luckily, I was made redundant for the second time this year, not very long ago, so I've got a little bit of time on my hands. Uh, so I'll be starting to fix this straight away, pretty much. I think I might tidy up my garage real quick, make space, because this is going to be, well, it depends on how much I've got to do here. That is a long, long way out, a long way from where it's supposed to be, that wheel. Uh, and I'll show you when I get get it up in the air. Um, yeah, the lower control arm has got a 30 degree odd bend in it or fold. It's a, it's a pretty big hit. I knew instantly the night was over. Um, oddly enough, it tracked just fine. I drove it off the circuit slowly. And, you know, I didn't have to turn the steering wheel or anything. Uh, by off the circuit, I mean, you know, off the racetrack onto the area where it's not the racetrack, but you're still in the, um, racetrack facility, uh, and then drove it off, uh, you know, once the tow truck dropped it off out the front, I uh, drove it in the driveway, and once again, it felt fine there at incredibly low speeds, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get it apart and have a look and see what the go is. Alright, uh, just one more thing. Um, during the processes to get the car to what it was yesterday, um, obviously the loom was fixed. Uh, and while I was messing about, the car wouldn't start. Uh, I had all that out and then I had it all back in. Um, what the problem actually was, was I hadn't reconnected the air fuel meter. What I thought the problem was though, was there's a fairly decent fuel leak from the bottom side of the fuel filter. Uh, and upon fixing that, I discovered pretty much every hose is leaking. Uh, none of them were done up tight. They're all a little bit brittle on the end, so I just snipped off sort of 15 millimeters of each hose and reconnected them and did them up tight. None of them leak now, but yeah. Just uh, be careful with that stuff, you don't want bloody fuel vapour floating around. Hot things and sparky things. So yeah, or a combination of the two, which is you know, the ultimate combination in explodey, fireball-y stuff. Uh, the, you know, you get fuel leaks, it, it can happen, but just got to be cautious. Make sure you stay on top of it. Um, yeah, it all, all sealed up really well now, but yeah, just that was another thing I did. Um, I'm doing this to show the stuff I did, uh, I didn't film it, it was a couple of hose clamps and a pair of scissors, so I think you guys should be alright with that. Uh, I didn't change any of that configuration with the dual fuel pressure regs running in sequence. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do there, probably just buy a new one and replace both of them with one that I know what it is. Uh, I've replaced the extinguisher, it's in there, it's probably too dark for you to see, uh, but the extinguisher's in there, uh, so in the next two weeks I've got to do that, and that, as a minimum, to get the car ready for, for the, uh, time attack, uh, for the, there's the hill climb, there is a time attack on next week. I doubt I'll make that. I was considering running that because it's a Thursday weekday event. Uh, you never know. I might get lucky. I might be able to find the parts quickly and easily. Putting them in shouldn't take too long. Uh, it's a case of uh, just getting them, I suppose. All right, let's, uh, let's go.